Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this story comes from Kent. A serving PCSO police officer, which stands for Police Constable Support Officer. It's a role where you're a part-time police officer, so you could have another job. You're not full-time in the role of police. She was found dead in Woodland on Tuesday the 27th of April and the police have now launched a murder investigation. Nobody has been arrested yet but the 53 year old that has been named as Julia James was found in Accolt Woods in Kent. The loss has shocked the nearby tiny hamlet of Snowdown that is near Dover where Miss James is believed to have lived with her husband. Thank you to our friends at UK News in Pictures for providing the drone footage of this story. And don't forget to follow them on YouTube as well, a link in the bio. Home Secretary Preeti Patel expressed her sincere condolences to the family of Mrs James and her colleagues as well. Police officers have been visiting homes in the area on Wednesday afternoon as the investigation is moving at a fast pace. Not far away by a field, a white tent is seen with police officers standing nearby. Officers were called shortly after 4pm on Tuesday to the Snowden area. The death was originally viewed as suspicious but Kent Police confirmed on Wednesday afternoon it's now being treated as murder. Local resident John Miller 72 said I can't believe what's happened. Everyone around here feels safe and I'm just gutted and gutted for a family. Whatever it is I hope they catch them and they put them away for life. He said that he knew her family and he said that there was a very close family and said what happens will be a massive loss to them. In Snowden, a police officer is standing guard outside the home where Miss James is believed to have lived with her husband. Police were urging anyone with information to come forward as they investigate the death of a colleague. Assistant Chief Constable of Kent Police Tom Richard said, Officers are carrying out a number of inquiries to establish the circumstances and also asking people that have come to the Snowden area to contact the police if they think of anything that may be of importance. It saddens me to confirm a serving PCSO for Kent Police has been found dead in a field nearby. We send our condolences to her family and friends. They go on to say in the statement that it's vitally important for anyone who was in the area on Monday and Tuesday and they think they've seen anything suspicious to get in touch. There is only 54 houses in the whole of Snowdown and one of four chief colliers of the Kent Coalfield which was closed down in 1987. Flowers have been laid near the scene today paying respects to the officer. So as I said this is a breaking news story and I'm sure there's a lot more to come from this. And it sadly is a very similar case with another woman being found in a field. And when I say that, I'm referencing the story of Nicole and Biba that were celebrating the birthday party during lockdown, having a few drinks with friends when they disappeared. And today there has been an update in relation to the two police officers that was arrested for taking inappropriate pictures at the scene. Our reporter Dave Nathan went to the scene in Friant Park. And we documented this story as much as we could to raise awareness due to the fact of how little was in the public domain. No interest from mainstream media at all. At some point, some people were even accusing them of being prostitutes when the facts were very different. And these were two hardworking, intelligent women that had a lot to give and they were brutally murdered for no reason. In relation to the update, it says that two Metropolitan Police officers have been charged following the investigation by the Independent Office for Police Conduct for the inappropriate images taken at a murder scene in North West London. The Crown Prosecution Service confirmed that Police Constables PC Dennis Jaffa, aged 47, and PC Jamie Lewis, 32, have been charged with misconduct in the public office. Both of them are from the North East Command. They will appear at Magistrates Court on the 22nd of May for their first hearing. And following the arrest in June, both officers were suspended from duty. On Wednesday the 17th of June 2020, the Crown Prosecution was informed of allegations of non-official and inappropriate photographs that had been taken at the crime scene in Fryant Country Park, Wembley, in relation to the murders of Bieber Henry and Nicole Smallman, who disappeared in the early hours of Saturday the 6th of June. And I must make reference to the recent case of Sarah Everard. There was a massive police search for her, and rightly so. 
But in this case, there wasn't a plea search. The family had to go and find them themselves. Bieber's boyfriend actually found her body in the woods. So imagine how devastating that must have been. And there was a lot of outrage as well about the reaction and response from the police to this case. And when this happened even after that, it just made it even worse. The Metropolitan Police have referred themselves to the IOPC and they have launched an independent investigation. Commander Paul Bettis from the Crime Command said these are very serious charges and the IOPC have done their work and at this point we can only follow their recommendations. Thoughts go out to the family of Nicole and Bieber and we recognise the grief and pain this must cause during the case that is ongoing. And currently an 18 year old boy is standing trial for their murders. So rest in peace to Bieber and Nicole and we'll definitely keep you updated as we have done on three other videos on that topic. And my condolences to the family of Julia James. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Peace.